Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Hoping you guys can hear me okay. Just got to California, so I'm here in sunny San Diego. Today what I wanted to do was I wanted to spend some time going through some Linux stuff. So we're gonna dive right in and let's actually do some Linux stuff, right? Because that's that's really when you learn it. And I don't really learn Linux talking about it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna share my screen. So now my screen is shared and I've actually got a Linux machine. I like to call this machine Hunter because this is the machine that I use when I'm doing uh, threat hunting. And one of the hosting companies that I use is called Volter. So V-U-L-T-R. There we go. V-U-L-T-R. So I like to use Volter and I'm gonna spin up a server. So I'm gonna click deploy. And then right here, I'm gonna choose where I wanna deploy it. So let's go down and let's choose a flavor of Linux. So for simplicity, I'm gonna choose Ubuntu. And I'm just gonna do Ubuntu, why not Ubuntu 18.10? It's the newer version of Ubuntu. And we should be able to get ourselves a good little list of all the different versions of Ubuntu. And you'll see that uh, down in here, 16.04, is probably the most stable it's been around the longest we just chose to do 1810 and do you see how um in each one of these uh they give you version number and a code name okay so the even versions are lts versions the odd versions are not okay so you see how they're telling you they produce a new version of Ubuntu every six months. We're gonna do Ubuntu 18, and I'm gonna do a real simple one, okay? So I'm gonna come down here and I'll give it a name, Ultimate Cert Demo is what I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna choose the option to deploy the server. So if you look down here, you can see that it says it's installing. So this server is installing. You give it a minute to boot up and do its magic. So now you see how it's gotten an IP address. And now that I've done that, you see over here, here's where it actually gives me the IP address. It'll say, here's how you log in as root, and it'll actually give me the password. This is H-L. Let's log in as root to this IP address. And we gotta wait till that sucker's up and ready to go. There we go. Yes. And I'm in business. Okay, now the first thing that I wanna do is DPKG, Debian package dash L. This is what will give me a list of all the software that's installed on the machine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an apt update. So apt, A-P-T, update, if you see what I did, this is how I'm gonna update all the repositories. And I know a lot of people are really reluctant because they don't wanna spend any money, but if you're less than one penny an hour, this is actually a pretty good way for you to try and play with all these different versions of Linux. So these would be the commands that I would try first. So the first command is EPKG space dash L as in Lincoln. I mean, all the packages, software packages. The next thing I would do is an apt update. So apt update is going to update all of your repositories on the internet. So each piece of software has a repository where you download it from. And then each piece of software also has a dependency list. Now the dependency list is what's going to let you know, oh, uh, for this piece of software, it requires these additional pieces of software. So I'll do the update. So you can see it's going out to archive.ubuntu.com and he's pulling down all of the packages releases for this version 
of Ubuntu. Then I'll do an upgrade like this. So apt upgrade. So when you get a fresh machine, this is usually what people do. They do an apt update and then they do an apt upgrade. R. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I like to use putty to log into the machine. And I actually should have shown you that. So when you actually log into your machine, I use putty. I put in the IP address, copy the IP address, throw in the IP, give it a name, ultimate demo, right? So I save it. And now when I try to click to log into that, right? It says yes. And now I put in that username and that password to log into that machine. Now, when I log in over SSH, did you guys notice there was no like little stars as I typed in the password? That's just because Linux really tries to be a lot more secure. So you don't see the letters uh, that you're typing, like you don't see those. Okay. All right, so it's almost done with its upgrade. You can see it's at 75%. Now, this upgrade usually won't require a reboot. One of the things that's different about Linux is you often do not need to do a reboot. So that's really, really nice. You won't need to do a reboot after you update all of your software packages. Not saying that you never reboot a Linux server, but... Linux is one of those things where you very rarely update a server. It's just not that common, okay? You really just don't do it very often.